guys welcome back and today we're gonna solve problems related to trusses and in this question it was asked to find force in each member by using the method of joints by the way C is pin support which means that it has two forces in X and in Y direction A is roller support so it will have only in Y direction so let's start solving this first find support reactions we always do this before jumping to the joints and here i want to represent a new thing to you which is an imaginary point taking moment about an imaginary point hey that's pretty good so what's that it is any point that is outside of our trust system it can be anywhere and i'm taking moment about that point and here my imaginary point will be this point let me delete these ones so maybe you are wondering why this is the place of an imaginary point because if we take moment about that point it will automatically get rid of a y and c x because they have the line of action that passes through o so we are left with only two forces which is 400 and c y so if i take moment about o point minus 400 times 3 Oh, by the way, I forgot to write 600 Newton at D point. Sorry for that. <laughs> and CY tries to turn in clockwise direction, so CY times 6 and positive DY, which is 600 times the vertical distance, which is 4. After calculating this, uh, I find CY as 200 Newton. Even if we take moment about any point, it can be about A point, C point, B point, it doesn't matter. You will find same answer for CY. Just check it. Let's write equilibrium equation for X direction to find CX. We have only just two forces in X direction, that is CX and 600. As CX points to the left, uh, it is negative and DX or force at D is positive. From here I get CX 600 newtons. Last right equilibrium equation for Y direction. We have three forces in total and we have only one unknown here. AY minus CY minus 400 newton. If I substitute CY into this equation, I will get AY as 600 newton so we found all reactions here now let's move on to the joints first i calculated joint a for you here so what we have got here in joint a we have three forces in total including uh, the support reaction as well 600 newton fad fab and we have two unknowns here but i can write two e equilibrium equation for that so I can easily solve them. If I write equilibrium equation for y direction, I have positive 600 plus y component of FAB, which is equal to FAB times 4 over 5. And the sum of them needs to be 0 in order to be in a state of equilibrium. So from here I get FAB as minus 750 Newton, which tells me that this joint is subjected to compression. After that, right equilibrium equation for X direction, I know FAB and uh, the X component of FAB will be equal to FAB times 3 over 5. Also, I have FAD in X direction. Substitute FAB into the equation and you will get FAD as 450 newtons. So, uh, I found FAD as 450 Newton, it is positive, which tells me that it is tension. I found FAB as minus 700 Newton, so let me correct this one here. I, I will change its direction showing that it is compression. So far, so good guys. Now, let me move this to this side. Now, let's calculate for joint D, all units will be in Newtons. In joint D, I have like 600 Newton in D that it was given to me and FCD 
FDA and uh, the diagonal force here. By the way, I know F A F D A because it is equal to F A D. I already calculated it. If I write equilibrium equation uh, for extraction, I have minus F D A positive 600 and x component of FDB, which is equal to FDB times 3 over 5. I've already found FDA and from this I get FDB as 200 Newton. As it is positive, it is tension. After that, write equilibrium equation for y direction. I have FCD and I have y component of FDB, which will be equal to FDB times 4 over 5. I find from here uh, FCD as 200 Newton. By the way, it is compression. In C, I already know everything except FCB member. I have for FCD member 200 Newton and support reactions 600 Newton and vertical 200 Newton. All I know is here this FCB and uh, without any calculations, I find it as 600 Newton because in that point total Fx must be zero. The last one is joint B. We don't need any calculation here because we already found everything. I know FBA as it is 750 Newton compression. I know 400 it was given and uh, I know FCB reaction which is 600 and Newton compression and I know also FBD which is 250 Newton tension. So as you see without any calculation I found all forces in, in joint B. Wow! It is the final uh, free body diagram uh, with the indications of compression and tensions. Please pause this one and understand how we found these numbers and why we wrote in this way and why they are compression, why they are tension. Until you understand this completely, don't move on to the next videos. And note that if the joint is compression, member will be compression as well. Most people make mistake that if the joint is compression, uh, that member that comes to that joint will be tension. No, it is not like that. That is a misconception. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and it really helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video guys.